Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Eva and I would love if you hit the subscribe button and if you obviously continue watching this video and give it a thumbs up. And if you're old uh, to this channel, welcome back. Today I decided to do a first Zara unboxing haul and I will <laughs> attempt to do a try on haul. So uh, fingers crossed this will work out and I can bring something new, something I have not done on this channel. So the Zara box just arrived, here it is. I've got my knife because I am a knife kind of girl and I'm gonna open it. I kind of forgot what's inside so it better be good. One thing I want to mention is this is um, a type of haul where everything is under £30 or to be specific £29.99. So um, I didn't include any of the more expensive items, which I think is ultimately a really nice challenge and a lot of people will appreciate it, especially a few days before payday. Okay, so let's have a look what's inside. I'm gonna be showing you the items and then we'll try to insert actually trying it on and telling you the prices. Oh, I've got a few bits here. Okay, so the first item I picked is this midi skirt in gingham. It's a green gingham with ruffles. This one was $25.99 and it's in the size medium. I think uh, all the items are either size 10 or medium, which I normally go for in Zara. I'm not even sure if everything is gonna fit, but let's try. I think this is really nice. It will look good with simple things. I think it's a lovely transitional piece, which you can wear maybe with, with sneakers, core shoes or nice boots. Okay, so I decided to put this skirt on, kind of like a going out in the evening dinner type. I teamed it with this um, black cami with a lace trim, my Manolo Blanix and Selene Trio and I would wear it as a clutch. Although it's a different type of green, I don't wear this back enough and I think it would be quite nice, you know, the, the green tones. But I think this skirt is amazing, it fits really well, I'm very happy with it, it's a very interesting piece and <laughs> the only thing I would say on somebody as tall as I am, so 5'11 and 180 centimeters, if you need to know in centimeters, it is definitely not midi, so it's almost mini on me to be honest. But yeah, this is ultimately what it looks like. Now, the second piece I picked is a very simple um, piece, which is this kind of oversized um, top, like more like a sweatshirt. To be honest, I am quite disappointed. It looked much better on the website. Um, just looks a bit like poor quality, but let's see what it's gonna look on. Again, size medium, 12.99. And I was thinking, you know, to make more kind of like a relaxed look with jeans on a casual day, you know, one of those um, autumn days when you're not sure really what to wear, but you still want to feel cozy. But I think with the right pair of shoes, it can look more kind of going out. Um, and with the right accessories, it could be almost like a dinner, um, dinner piece. Uh, obviously not to a very fancy place, but maybe, you know, in a nice gastro pub or something like that. Um, but I'm qu uh, quite disappointed what it looks like when you just kind of look at it uh, because I haven't really looked in Zara stores recently that much and most of these I actually if I when I went to Zara last time I haven't seen really most of these so it's basically I picked them on how they looked on the website. Okay so this is kind of like the new beige sweatshirt for $12.99 in size medium I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my least favorite from the haul. I thought it would look much nicer and I thought I can actually create some sort of a look, maybe going out um, and what you can actually do with a simple sweatshirt and the right accessories, but I just feel it doesn't look as a good quality piece. So I'll stick to more kind of casual look with um, black jeans and Gucci pants and Chanel bag or kind of any other bag 
but this would be definitely my least favorite piece. It just looks very different to uh, what it looked on the picture and it's lacking some sort of quality or and the material is not great even when you touch it. And whilst talking about that one, I picked the same model and same cut but a different print which is almost this like red and blue stripey one. So again, the same price, $12.99 and size medium and I'm going to show you what it looks on now. This is the sweatshirt, I wasn't convinced, $12.99. It actually does look quite decent on. I mean, you probably get what you pay for, so it's not $25, it's not $30, it's $12.99. And this is maybe how I would wear it on a casual day, maybe running around with the baby, with a bigger bag. So I put together kind of like a mummy almost uniform, yeah, mummy uniform, a ripped jeans, my Gucci loafers, and this Dolce Gabbana bag. So I think it looks kind of spicy it up, and it's nice for a change to wear a bigger bag where you fit all the stuff you need for the baby. But I think this would be a nice kind of weekend outfit, and ultimately this sweatshirt is not as bad. I quite like how baggy it is. If you like it even bigger, you could go for large, but I, I feel like the medium is really kind of big enough um, and I'm not you know, overly skinny or anything like that. Okay, the piece number four is another sweatshirt. This one is for $25.99, again size medium, and it has got this cool detail at the back, which I thought really makes it. The color is like the color is black and this is navy blue. I quite like this material. It definitely feels better than the other ones. And I think this is going to be a really cool autumn um autumn piece. Um you know, it's quite nice maybe if you put your hair up and really show show off the detail at the back. I think it's going to look really really good uh with skinny jeans or maybe ripped jeans or even with the right leather skirt or denim skirt and some cool boots, this can really create a lovely look. So yeah, I like the look of this one, uh, but let's see what it's gonna look on, on me. Okay, I think so far, this must be my favorite piece. I do love this, look at the volume sleeves, the details at the back, they look amazing. I haven't tried it on to wear this details up front, but it could be quite interesting to see what it's gonna look like. I teamed it up with the jeans from the haul, my Givenchy uh, biker boots and this mini stock McCartney bag. But I think this is just a really, really nice piece. I quickly put my hair up so you can actually see the detail, but yes, I do really like this one. Let me know guys what you think. Okay, the next piece is a pair of black skinny jeans. They do look quite tiny. It's a um, high waist uh, jeggings um, and they're almost like a washed black and um, I do like a, um, I do like a lot to have a good pair of well-fitted kind of skinny jeans. I think uh, they're the piece you always need in your wardrobe in a few shades and a few colors. Um, so hopefully these will look great. I'm quite worried I won't fit in them, but oops, let's see. But it's, let's see what it's gonna look like. And, and I kind of picked it to go with some of the other items I have in the haul. Um, so fingers crossed it will fit so I can show you how they feel. They seem like a decent quality, exactly what you would expect in Zara. And um, I think they will go with a lot of things like perfect for autumn, a lot of nice blazers and things like that. This is the fit of the skinny jeans as expected. They're probably more quarter length again on me. I think it is nice fit, they're nice and hugging. It's a, I think, lovely piece for a good price as well. I teamed it up. I would call this a very kind of casual chic look for every day for mom for somebody that maybe works in an office and they've got a bit of dress down Friday like again the same kami top as I wore with the skirt I think there's, these are always handy nice blazer and it's about them accessorizing it but I think you can do a lot of things with type of jeans like this I genuinely do like these jeans Okay, the next piece 
is this gorgeous red tea dress. I absolutely adore the color. It is almost like a red orangey with a lovely print. I think these are roses. And it's a wrap dress, which I really like. I think it will look nice and girly. You know, great for, tra again, transitional uh, kind of uh, dressing. I think you can layer it with maybe white t-shirt, black polo neck, um, or you can just lay, um, lay it um, maybe with, uh, you know, another cool tops, maybe, you know, different colors, uh, perhaps green or gray. Um, or I can really see this with nice denim jacket or perhaps like chunk in it. I think there's a lot of options for these kind of dresses and you've seen a lot of them in the high street um, and I think they look really nice and girly and actually quite timeless as well. So this must be the biggest surprise of the whole uh, shopping experience because <laughs> I thought I was ordering a dress and it is actually a jumpsuit or it's like one piece. And I'm not sure, although I do like it, I'm not sure if I like it on me. Uh, but I think this is exactly kind of jumpsuit some girls would love and it would look really good with boots. And as I said, it would look nice layered. It would be quite interesting piece for autumn. Nice transitional. I think it would be quite nice to try maybe with fishnet tights, but not sure if it's for me. I think this is way too revealing. And yeah, I, I like it, but just not right for me, I guess. And I teamed it up with the Chanel bag and these Gucci pumps with a blot here. But it would be quite nice with biker boots and stuff. If somebody's gonna buy it. <laughs> this is gonna be hit or miss. It's basically a midi skirt. Um, I am quite disappointed because I can already see it looks potentially a bit see-through. Um, I do like to wear midi skirts and I think they're great, especially when it gets a little bit colder. You can still wear bare legs um, and maybe nice leather jacket or denim jacket. But this one feels still very summery, um, although it's from the new collection. Uh, it's size medium and the price is 25 99. I'm gonna try to insert the prices and links and everything down below in the description box um, but you will all find these uh, these pieces online uh, but um, it's gonna be quite interesting to see what this one looks on and how can you actually pair it with uh, you know with your existing wardrobe it looked really good on the website but I'm not quite convinced and um, looking at it now um, and not not sure if it's kind of my my style but let's see it may pleasantly surprise me right so this is the last piece from the haul this is the skirt i wasn't sure about but actually it turns out quite nicely it's got pockets which i found really cool and yes this is what i had in mind maybe to wear with leather jacket denim jacket or sweaters with maybe boots and to kind of like create more kind of autumn look but uh, it would be quite nice, as I said, on the day when it's quite cold, but not that cold that you couldn't wear a midi skirt because it covers most of your legs. I quite like it. And I quite like it with, um, you know, with the beige tones and kind of the tan color, the tan boards as well. So let me guys know what you think. Not sure how versatile this piece is or if that is something I would wear next season or if I would get bored of it. But at the moment it definitely surprised me more than some of the others but i think my favorite piece has to be probably the jeans and the the dark navy sweatshirt with the detail at the back okay guys this is my first haul hopefully you liked it please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, maybe even the notification bell, and I'll see you soon. And let me know which piece is your favorite. Bye!